Welcome to video two for this unit on rational number arithmetic. In this video, we're going to focus on subtracting rational numbers. Subtraction is the operation that undoes addition. This means that if we have a question like, what is seven minus five? The answer here is the same value as the number we can add to five to get seven. Here is a diagram that illustrates the addition equation. To get the sum of 7, the second arrow must be two units long, pointing to the right. This tells us that positive 2 is the number that completes these equations. 5 plus 2 equals 7. So, 7 minus 5 equals 2. Let's consider another expression. 7 plus negative 5. Here is a diagram that illustrates this equation. Notice that the value of 7 plus negative 5 is also 2. We can see that 7 minus 5 has the same value as 7 plus negative 5. Let's look at another subtraction problem. The answer to 3 minus 6 is the same value as the number we can add to 6 to get 3. Here is a diagram that illustrates this equation. To get the sum of 3, the second arrow must be 3 units long, pointing to the left. This tells us that negative 3 is the number that completes these equations. 6 plus negative 3 equals 3. So, 3 minus 6 equals negative 3. Let's consider another expression. 3 plus negative 6. Notice that the value of 3 plus negative 6 is also negative 3. So 3 minus 6 has the same value as 3 plus negative 6. Let's look at another example. The answer to negative 2 minus 4 is the same value as the number we can add to 4 to get negative 2. To get the sum of negative 2, the second arrow must be 6 units long, pointing to the left. This tells us that negative 6 is the number that completes these equations. Can you think of an addition problem that would get this same answer? One possibility is negative 2 plus negative 4. Negative 2 minus 4 has the same value as negative 2 plus negative 4. What happens if the number we are subtracting is a negative? To get the sum of 3, the second arrow must be 4 units long, pointing to the right. This tells us that positive 4 is the number that completes these equations. The opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. So let's consider the expression 3 plus positive 1. 3 minus negative 1 has the same value as 3 plus positive 1. Have you noticed a pattern? Here are all the examples we have seen so far. In general, subtracting a number gets the same answer as adding its opposite. a minus b is equal to a plus the opposite of b. 
How can you use this pattern to solve negative 3 minus negative 6? The opposite of negative 6 is positive 6. So we can rewrite the problem as negative 3 plus positive 6. The answer is positive 3. Sometimes we use positive and negative numbers to represent quantities in situations. Here are some common situations that can be represented with positive and negative numbers. Temperature, elevation, an account balance, and tracking inventory. Using positive and negative numbers can help us understand and analyze these situations. To solve problems in these situations, we have to understand what it means when the quantity is positive and what it means when it is negative. We also need to understand what it means to add or subtract the quantities. Thank you for watching video two of four for this unit on rational number arithmetic.